this video we carry out a very fine uh, detailed analysis of a musical uh, signal, uh, in this case a uh, plucked guitar note. Uh, the recording of that uh, plucked note is uh, shown here. Here we have a spectrum uh, computed of that uh, recording. We see some prominent peaks. Here's a uh, peak around 262 hertz or so, fundamental for middle C. Two times it uh, would be a second harmonic here, three times it, a third harmonic, fourth harmonic, a weak fifth harmonic, a sixth harmonic, and a seventh harmonic. Um, there are also some undertones uh, shown down here. Um, now, over here on the left, we show a scalagram, uh, which shows the time development of these harmonics. Let's look at the parameters for that scalagram. Uh, the width 0.4, frequency 28.8. Uh, if you uh, divide 28.8 by 0.4, you get uh, 72. 72 hertz is the base frequency, which corresponds to the 2 to the 0 here. 1, that's the unit. The unit base frequency is 72 hertz. We are going up 5 octaves. 2 to the 5th is 32 times uh, 72 is uh, 2,304 hertz. Um, and we're going up by uh, octaves, powers of 2. This is the logarithmic scale along here. Uh, each octave is divided uh, evenly uh, 48 times. Now, if we had divided by 12 in an octave uh, evenly, that cor would correspond to notes on a chromatic scale. Here we are going uh, four times more than that. So uh, the notes on a chromatic scale are half steps. Here we're dividing each half step by four. We're going up by eighth steps within each octave. So uh, a fairly, uh, uh, fairly fine uh, division of uh, uh, the pitch uh, range within each octave. Now if we go back and look at the spectrum here again. Um, here's a uh, middle C harmonic and that uh, corresponds to this band here. Uh, this long uh, horizontal band there is the middle C harmonic. And then the bands that are above it here correspond to these uh, uh, overtone harmonics of uh, middle C. The undertones are these bands uh, here. Uh, for instance, this group of uh, peaks here is shown uh, in its time development uh, as this group of bands uh, uh, right here on the scalagram. Uh, this looks like a single peak. It's actually two closely separated peaks. And here we can see their time development uh, uh, over time. Um, now if I play the uh, audio, uh, you'll hear the uh, first a percussive uh, sound that's coming. That's this part right here. Then switches into a more harmonic tone, and right in here the undertone uh, uh, sound will be more prominent. Uh, so let's listen to it. Watch again here when the undertone becomes more prominent. All right, um, let's now uh, look at uh, the f uh, a single octave uh, instead of five octaves. And that will focus on uh, actually this band right here. I'm going to look at a single octave uh, right around this uh, range here. Um, and that's been computed here. Um, same width, same frequency. So the base frequency here is still 72. We're only going up one octave, so the top frequency here is 144 hertz. Uh, now we're dividing this octave into 240 uh, equally spaced uh, voices. Uh, that corresponds in uh, uh, musical uh, pitch theory to a five cent change uh, for each uh, uh, increment of each voice. So uh, we're dividing this uh, scale uh, here along this uh, right 
into uh, essentially uh, five cent changes uh, of, uh, of, of pitch, which is uh, roughly about what the a human ear can detect a difference of uh, about five cents. So a uh, very accurate, very finely detailed uh, view of this first octave. Here's the two bands we saw before closely spaced together. Now we zoomed in on them uh, quite a bit. Uh, let's go up uh, one octave from that. Um, so now, uh, divided the width by 2, that's 0.2 into 28.8 gives uh, 144 for the base frequency. Top frequency is 288 hertz. Right below 288 hertz, uh, here is the middle C uh, harmonic that we pointed out before. And here are those group uh, of undertones uh, uh, that were uh, uh, shown uh, previously. Now we've zoomed in. Um, Let's look at one more octave here. Uh, with these parameters, um, the base frequency is 576 hertz, and the top frequency is uh, 1,152 hertz. Uh, now, this uh, uh, view is quite interesting. This is the percussive uh, part of the tone, and then uh, the more harmonic uh, sound uh, coming in. A little fade out here on this uh, slightly lower pitch harmonic than this one. I don't know if we can quite hear it, but we'll see. I heard it a little bit. Um, let's look at one interesting thing we can do with spectrograms, uh, scalograms, uh, that's, uh, uh, is that we can invert them and just invert the time frequency information shown here. So if I were to click this and invert, we would resynthesize a signal that is only uh, uh, created from just the time frequency information shown here. Now I've done that previously and then recomputed a scalogram with the same parameters that's here. Same parameters, recomputed, and, and so it looks the same, but uh, now let's listen to the audio. It only have the time frequency information uh, that was uh, on the uh, previous scalogram. So much more high frequency. Now uh, it's interesting to uh, s play this a little higher volume, but but slow it down so we can uh, hear uh, more closely. Uh, it'll sound a little bit strange, but uh, uh, let's listen to it. And as the cursor moves across, here is the percussive part. Then switches to more harmonic sound. And when the cursor comes right in here, that lower pitch harmonic fades out momentarily, and the higher uh, pitch harmonic uh, uh, comes in a, a, a cl more clearly. Uh, so listen closely. Here we go. So um, I hope this video has shown that with uh, uh, scalograms, we can do a very finely uh, detailed analysis of the spectral content of a musical signal. Uh, thank you for watching.